Oh, today's going to be a good one. Oh, why? What's happening today? Oh, because we've got a super exclusive, brand new, never been seen before recipe ever, ever. Oh my goodness, it must be that time again. Oh yes it is, it's 6pm, which means it is Bosch O'Clock. Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to Bosch TV. My name is Ian Theesby, this is Henry Firth, and we are Bosch. Hello. So, um, what day is it today? Tuesday? Oh no, it's Wednesday, because there was a bank holiday, wasn't there? Is it there? Tuesday? Is it Tuesday? It's Tuesday. Are you sure? Yeah, this is the second oh, recipe yeah. of the week. Oh yeah, of course, it's Tuesday. So that's good, isn't it? Like, you should know it's Tuesday because you've got your white t-shirt on uh, and yeah, you always wear that on a Tuesday. Two for Tuesday. Do you know what we should have done? What was that? Uh, tacos today. Taco Tuesday. It's Mexican week. We yeah. didn't do that. I know, that's foolish. LeBron James would have definitely loved yeah. that. Do you know he tried to paint it then? That's a good idea. I know, like Taco Tuesday, LeBron James wanted it. <laughs> we could have taken a piece of it today, but we didn't because, well, we didn't make tacos. But what we did decide to make today is something utterly delightful. Ladies and gentlemen, this is our super speedy chili. Oh my goodness. Now, we love a chili here at Bosch. We genuinely love a chili. Um, in our first cookbook, we had the ultimate chili, and trust me, it is the ultimate. But this is the ultimate speedy chili, and there's a couple of really cool, twisty little hacks in there that will just make you go, whoa, that's a good idea. Mmm, I bet that tastes damn good. And if you're cooking along, which we hope that you are, we reckon by the end of this, you're going to be like, yeah, lads, you did a good job. I'm, I can't wait to eat it. Um, you'll be pleased to know, also, Ian, that we are good on YouTube and Facebook. Right, Chas? You will also be pleased to know, all of you on YouTube and Facebook, that we are listening and reading your comments via Chas. Producer Charlie is in my ear. So he's going to be relaying your questions, any, anything that you didn't catch, and I will catch up with that to just let you know the important things will get answered along the way. Yes, indeedy. So let, let's give you a little bit of a background in this recipe. This is a brand spanking new recipe that has never been seen before and it is featuring or will feature in our brand new cookbook, Speedy Bosch, which comes out on the 17th of September of this year. Now it's gonna be a great book. There's some great recipes in there and this is one of them. So if you wanna pre-order that, has Chaz dropped a thing in the box? Chaz is probably dropping a link in there right now. Yeah. Um, you could probably just Google uh, Speedy Bosch as well, but we'll pop a link in there. Um, we would love it if you'd grab a copy. It's all Speedy recipes like this. Yeah, super speedy. Now, um, a few of you guys will be cooking along with us, which we greatly appreciate, and a few of you will have all the ingredients out there. So what we're going to do is, just to make sure that you know exactly what you should have, I'm going to run through the recipe from, look, this is a Google Doc. It's not, not even in like blab form, it's or book form or anything, it's just in the Google Doc. So I'm just gonna read it through now, so we're all up to speed and all on the same page. Right then, for the chili, you need two tablespoons of vegetable oil, one onion, one 400 gram tin of haricot beans, one 250 gram pouch of cooked poi lentils, one 400 gram tin of chopped tomatoes, one 400 gram tin of kidney beans, one teaspoon of lazy garlic, one whole dried ancho chili, one tablespoon of instant coffee, one tablespoon of nutritional yeast, 50 milliliters of boiling water, one tablespoon of dark brown sugar, one cinnamon stick, two bay leaves, and one teaspoon of salt. Now, that is all the ingredients that you need to make our brand spanking new speedy chili, and the first thing that you need to do is make a chili broth. Chili broth. A chili broth. That sounds proper uh, out there as a concept. Mm. It's one of our little speedy hacks. Um, by the way, Ian, there was a lot of people saying, uh, you'd be pleased to hear, that they think you're very brave. Uh, and the reason they think you're brave is because you're making a chili with a white t-shirt. Well, yes. I have to agree with that, to be um, honest. Yeah. <laughs> Bloody foolish, isn't it, really? But there we go, it's fine. Foolish is as foolish does. Uh, right, so let's. Um, so what you're going to need here is um, a jug. I find a jug is a great thing to use uh, to, to make this broth. And the first thing you're going to need to do is, shall we, I know what we'll do, we'll put our dry ingredients in first so we can run through that and we don't ruin them with the water straight away. So let me show you this. This is a weird looking thing. Oh. Now that is an ancho chili, okay? And basically what's been happened here, it's kind of like a smoked, dried out chili. And what's happened, it's like, it's got a really kind of brittle texture and smoky sort of um, scent. 
and uh, that is going to provide some incredible flavour. Now if you couldn't find one of these you could just use a little bit of chilli powder, it would be fine, wouldn't it? Do you know ancho is uh, basically just nacho? Nacho? He arranged. <laughs> An ancho nacho, why has someone not I done it? Oh, oh also listen, 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 listen. Ooh. That's good, right? Yeah, it's got the seeds still inside, which means it's fire. Bonfire! Right, and we're going to pop this into our little jug. There is the ancho chili. And the next thing you're going to do is pop um, a cinnamon stick in, because it's going to give a wonderful earthy kind of flavour to the whole dish. Then you've got these. Um, bay leaves are wonderful things, right, because they, they feature in so many different cuisines. And for this, it's really brought the flavour out of this broth. So there's your bay leaves, there's two of them. Um, and here, we've got some brown sugar, just a little bit of brown sugar. Ask D'Angelo, he knows all about that. Everybody, anybody who's like a, a 30 plus, 34 plus might know what that meant. You know what that meant. Yeah, yeah, maybe, yeah. <laughs> it's a great album, D'Angelo, what a bad man. Anyway, so here we go. This is nutritional yeast and it's our favourite. It's kind of magic dust and uh, yeah, that's going to go in there as well. It's not going to give a cheap, like the thing is about nutritional yeast is it's quite an interesting ingredient because that won't give cheesiness but it will give like a savoury tang. It's cool. Very good. And now this, this is this is the this is the the, 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 the strange ingredient. Let me show you that on the top cam. So this is just instant coffee. Now the reason why we've got this going in, in here is because it's doing the same job as the chocolate that we had in our ultimate chili. This is very um, sort of South American in nature and that's exactly what we're trying to do because we're making a wonderful speedy chili. So, there we go. I guess it'll wake you up as well. It, will, it could well give you a minor, minor caffeine hit. Yeah, that's, that, that is very true. Yeah. So yeah, this chili will um, keep you on your toes. Yeah. Right, and this is boiling water. There's 50 mils of it and it's going into the jug. It's a good thing we had two of the same jug. Okay, cool. So that's it. And as you can see, there's not loads of water there, but what you want to do is just now mix this up. Okay, just sort of get everything sort of introduced to each other. And then we are just literally going to pick this up and out and we're going to sit this to one side because this is basically, um, we're going to need this later. So that is one job done out of the two jobs that we have to do. So we're chilling really. Amazing. It's amazing, right? Well, it's a speedy recipe. It is a speedy recipe. A few people have been asking about avocados and how to know when an avocado is ready. I mean, um, it feels like it's obvious, but Squishiness is always good. Mm. Uh, darker in colour is always a good indication. Um, but also, you can kind of tell at the uh, the top end, where the top little nub is. If you pull it out and it feels soft, um, then that means your avocado is either ripe or overripe. Um, do you know how they? Obviously, this is a vegan show, right? But uh, they say when with steak, you can tell um, how done it is by like the hand. by the hand. Yeah. I wonder if there's a similar sort of thing for avocado ripeness. Yeah. Like which bit of your yeah, hand? Yeah, which bit of your hand. Right. If it feels like this, then it's perfect. Actually, I think it'll probably have to be like that bit, maybe. Yeah. I mean, really, anything that isn't bone. Yeah, anything that isn't bone. But, it, but anything that's too soft, it can be like... Too much. Yeah. A little bit too much, you know. Right, um, so we've got a pan. If we check the top cam. Here we go. Let me pull that camera out just a touch so you guys can see more. That's good. That's looking good. Seymour. Seymour. Seymour, he's, uh, he, I'm pretty sure he's a teacher at our school back in the day, Mr. Seymour. Maybe not. <laughs> anyway, thanks for joining us, guys. Um, we are 10 minutes into our box live. If you have just joined us on Facebook or YouTube, we are making the Speedy Bosch. Ian is going to show the Speedy Bosch and the Speedy Chili. Ian is going to whip up the chili in the next 20 minutes. Uh, and drop your questions in. Producer Charlie will relay them to us as we go. Thanks for hanging out with us. Now the um, chilies take a while usually, don't they? Yes, but normally you'd be bubbling it and simmering it exactly. to let the flavours develop. And that is why we've made this little broth, because this is the thing that's going to give it all of that really rich, deep, chilli sort of flavour. Now, um, super speedy, nice and easy, the first thing we need to do is pop a little bit of vegetable oil or light olive oil. And there's about two, two and a half tablespoons there. Why light like olive oil? Because the extra version of olive oil we found is well, it's just kind of better just for dressing salad rather than cooking. Um, I think that's that's probably the best answer to that. Um, what's your opinion on oil? 
Now let us know in the question, in the comments below, because a lot of people are fine with oil, a lot of people aren't fine with oil, a lot of people have different preferences for the oil that they use. I mean, we always go with um, light olive oil because it seems to be the one. What is your best oil? Yeah, I mean, a light is going to have a kind of uh, higher smoke point, mm -hmm. so it won't burn. Yeah. Whereas an extra virgin olive oil could easily burn the pan and kind of taste a bit acrid. It'd be quite bad for you, actually. Yeah. So it's better for like salads um, and it's a finishing oil. Exactly. And also, make sure that you um, use your oil up quickly because it doesn't keep like wine. Okay? Right, so I'm going to pop in one white onion. Then we've sort of finely sliced it to a point. We haven't gone too over the top with the slicing. It's just kind of like chunks of it. Okay? Now, super easy, super quick. We're just going to give this a stir. Okay? We're just going to stir that round. And we're just going to sort of give it about 30 seconds. But as we've said on a few of these lives already, every time you're cooking with an onion as your first ingredient, pop in a little bit of salt because it will eke out the moisture and help it cook a little bit quicker and give seasoning throughout every stage of the dish. I'm going to turn my little fan on here as well, just in case it um, starts steaming. Right, so that, now, like usually we cook this down for a little bit longer, usually it will be cooking down for like three, maybe four minutes, but in this instance we don't need to. We just need to sort of set it off. And it has been set off, so the next ingredient that's going into this pan now is this. I'll show you at the top end. This is a um, very, very basic fajita mix. You can make your own or you can buy some. We bought some and it smells great. And it's gonna give a really sort of authentic chili taste to the whole dish. So in it goes. Nice. And the idea is we're adding that nice and early because we want it to bind to the onion. Okay? Look at that, it smells amazing already. It looks amazing too, dude. Doesn't it? Colors today are on fire. Mate, I'm telling you, like this is what we're aiming to make today, guys. It's gonna be so good. Right, there we go. We're gonna keep on spinning this round. And we're just gonna let those onions and that fajita seasoning mix get to know each other. We're gonna let the seasoning mix eke into the sort of very fiber of the onion. And um, yeah, a white t-shirt check. Still white, man. <laughs> Still going. Still there, it's all good. So um, there was a question that just came in, which I think is a really good one actually. It's why it's so good that we've got questions open. Yeah. Because uh, people will often have things we haven't thought about mentioning. So if you don't have an ancho chili, like agree, that is quite a niche thing to find. Mm -hmm. We can often find them in speciality shops. Um, if you can't get hold of an ancho chili, there's various other like dried varieties of chilies like that, like you could have an arbol chili or you could have a chipotle chili or something like that. Mm. Um, you'd be wanting to go for like a dried one though, uh, because the dried ones are going to be kind of richer and more smoky. You could also, if you can't get any of them, pop in like just a little bit of uh, chipotle paste. Mm. Oh, chipotle paste is so good and it's very, very readily available now. It's, um, it's one of those ingredients that three years ago, you really struggle to find it, and now it seems that everybody's getting a little bit more creative with cooking, so something like that, readily available. Now let's check the pan, look at this. So as you can see, um, the onions are beautifully stained, they're, no, they're, no, they're not burnt at all by any stretch of the imagination. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna add some new bits into the pan. And the first bit that we're gonna add in is this, haricot beans. So look at these, they're sort of really small, uh, they look like sort of popcorn kernels, and they are, they're not everywhere, and if you can't find these, don't worry, you can use cannellini beans, you can use butter beans, but we think these are perfect, because we just like the, the smallness of them adds a really wonderful texture. So these are going into the pan. Okay. Now, next up, we have got a pouch of pre-cut point lentils, and they're going in as well which is going to give a really nice colour. Mate, and this dish actually, thinking about it, just answers the question, where do you get your protein? Because I mean, it's like, like absolutely packed with protein. It's it just like a whole dish, it's insane. Right, next up, check this out. We've got these. Now these are kidney beans, and what would a chili be without kidney beans? I do not know. So that's going in. Nice. And now, last but not least, um, well actually, we've got two things, but this, in this stage, we're going to pop this in. Now, this is a teaspoon of lazy garlic. Now, you could quite easily use your own garlic clove that you've kind of grated down, but we bought the lazy chili because it's quick and it's speedy, and that's what this dish is all about. 
So I'm going to fold this through. Okay. And the idea here is that we're just trying to cover those beans and those lentils with that flavour. Get it all nicely mixed in with um, the onion. And man, look at this. This is pretty good, eh? I mean, it smells legit already. Yeah. But it, I guess at the moment, it's still pretty fresh in there. Mm, That's why you've got that bad boy little broth stuck there. Oh, mate, that broth is going to do wonders to the overall flavour profile of this dish. In fact, it's going to make it. And you guys, I think, are going to be reasonably impressed with this broth idea. I think, it's, I think it's a good one. So here we go. So there you go. That is um, that's about, that's, it's as good a mix as it's going to be, okay? So what I've got here is this. This is a, a tin of chopped tomatoes. Always used, um, well, just any chopped tomatoes is fine. And if you really wanted to go all out with a little bit more tomatoiness, you could easily squelch in a bit of uh, tomato puree. I'm going to spin this around now so we can see what's going on. This now it looks a bit more, a bit more chilly y yeah? Check that out. Very good. So you're just moving everything around. And notice how I'm being like quite um, precise with the, uh, with, with, with the sort of folding technique. Because we don't want to mash up beans. We kind of just want to keep them relatively robust. So they're not just turning into like a pulp or a puree. Very good. How's a, a, has Chisel got any questions for us? Chisel, uh, Chisel, aka Chaz, aka Chaz into the world of adventures, um, is in my ear. He's our producer. I've been keeping an eye on questions. Yes. Uh, Charlie, any questions for us? He's like, oh, he's put me on the spot now, aren't they? The baggers. The baggers have put me on the spot. So the question is whether or not people could just use any beans here. Yeah, I don't see why not. I think that's fine. Yeah, like we said before, uh, if you can't find haricot beans, that's fine. Uh, just try and get something that resembles a white bean. So like a butter bean or a cannellini bean, a bolotti bean could be quite cool as well. Yeah, man, you could use any. Black beans would be great. What about baked beans, Charlie? What about <laughs> baked beans? Do you know what, right? I mean, it'd be worth a try. Might be worth a try, you never know. If you've got a tin of baked beans hanging around, I'll tell you what you could do, you could wash the baked beans and there would be just beans. Hey, maybe then there'd be a has been. Ah, uh, yes. Has been? Right, check it out. So what we've done there is just giving it a couple of minutes just to get to know each other. It's kind of thickened off ever so slightly. The flavours have come together. It looks really nice. And now we're going to get our, oh, our sort of like really nice chilli broth into here, okay? So let's do this. And this obviously, because it's got coffee in it, um, it's going to add a real thick kind of darkness. Now, I'm just going to scrape all that flavour out because we don't want to miss anything, okay? Now, pop this to one side and now just fold all of those bits and bobs into your chilli. And now, what you need to do is you just need to let the pan and the oven do the work. You just need to let it simmer. Just sim, sim, simmer. Sim, sim, sim up. This, yeah. is the, uh, this is the moment, Chaz. Feed us a couple of questions, because we're being an amazing time here. How, uh, what time is it? How, how are we doing? Ah. Ooh, ages. 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 Yeah, we've got ages, man. Very good. Which lazy garlic did we use? Did we use a plastic tube, or did we use a jar? We used a jar, and uh, I think the brand was Bart, and yeah, lazy garlic. Uh, but also, you know, if you're not that lazy, you could just grate the garlic. You could use garlic. I mean, yeah, it. it probably saved maybe 12 seconds. Yes, please. <laughs> About 12 seconds. Right, so um, now, I'm, I'm, you know what, guys, right? If you're cooking along with us at home, firstly, hope you've enjoyed the experience. I know that you're going to enjoy the dish. It's going to be really, really tasty. But um, the most chilli can do with a bit of time, okay? Just to let it simmer and just to let all the flavours come together and let everything develop. So what I'm going to do now is get a lid. I'm going to pop it on there. And then we do have one that we made earlier. So then we're going to do that. Very good. So... So we go top cap, and there we are. And that is a chili. And it, if you're cooking at home, 10 minutes from now, just take that lid off, serve it up with everything else, 
But for us, we're going to show you how we would serve it if we were at your dinner table right now. So if we go top cam, now up and out. Boom. Okay, so white t-shirt check for those people who are asking in the comments. White t-shirt uh, There's check. nothing there. It's looking pretty sleek. It's not too bad, you know. It's not too bad. This is not my first rodeo. It's yes. Like Flora. Flora. Yeah, it's actually, maybe um, we shouldn't wear white t-shirts in the future. Oh, I shouldn't. Ah, it's fine. It's good. It looks so great. Um, but we also got asked about uh, Fonstock TV, uh, which I think is quite an interesting question. What, where does the TV at the end of Fonstock TV come from? And there are a few answers to that question. The first is uh, it's the name of a domain that we could get because Boss.com was gone. Yeah. I think it might be Tuvalu uh, is .tv. Now you can get different random domains, but back in the day it had to be country specific, so it was a domain that we could get. But also it's like television, right? Boss TV, Boss.tv, TV, television. Kind of makes sense. This is tele televisual. Um, so yeah, hopefully that answers your question. Very good. Right guys, I'm just laying the deck here because we've got so many lovely little things. Now in the actual book, we show you how to make every element that is going to go into the dish, but because we didn't want to sort of go take up your whole evening, we thought we'd just show you how to make the main event. A lot of people were interested about the coffee situation. It is a cool hack, isn't it? Um, remember that from one of our most famous chilies in Bosch, we put some dark chocolate in there and some maple syrup as well. So this is kind of like a different take on it. And obviously, you know, coffee is South American, so there's some, there's some traditional uh, ethnic vibes there as well. If you prefer, you could leave out the caffeine uh, and go for a caffeine-free instant coffee. Uh, that could be a vibe. They don't, they don't taste quite as good, in our opinion, um, but if you're not into caffeine, then that's definitely a hack for you. Definitely, 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 definitely. Well, that's looking nice. I can see yeah. Ian's laying this out. Laying it out nicely, nicely. And um, a few people have asked about hot chocolate, which is a nice, nice suggestion. Mm -hmm. I like that. Yes, that would work. I mean, if you think about what you're going for, you're going for that kind of rich, slightly bitter, smoky powder. Yeah, you want to go for one that is quite um, expensive, not one that's got like powdered milk and sugar. Go for that. I agree. Well, no. <laughs> Very good. Should we take some actual hot chocolate? Yeah, you could. Chili hot chocolate. Chili hot chocolate. Chili. It's got to be a thing. Okay, let me just. Oh, here we go. I think I've done. Should, should we have? Should we show the guys the, the, the side cap? Look at that. Hey, so how's that looking? Pretty decent. Looking lovely. Pretty good, huh? Nice. So, guys. Uh, I'm going to pop this lime here just to fill this bottom white space and uh, we are looking very very good. So, for the purpose of the Bosch video that we are currently filming, um, I'm going to put this, this chilli in, like from the side, not, not, uh, yeah, from the side cam. Can we go side cam? Here we go, check this out, so this, boom. Now, how's that look? That looks pretty cool, doesn't it? Very good. So, um, now let me talk you through what I've got here. We've got, uh, if we go to Top Cam, I'll show you. So this right here is a really quick guacamole that you can knock up. And uh, the, the difference between regular guacamole and this is this has got some jalapenos in, some jarred jalapenos, which is wonderful. Right here, we've got a very, very simple uh, salsa, which is just literally uh, coriander leaves, some chili, and uh, some lime juice and some cherry tomatoes, that's all. This is a really nice one. This is vegan sour cream, which is lime juice mixed with um, vegan cream cheese and a little bit of salt and pepper. Very, very delicious. And then everything else is the sort of thing that you expect to see uh, when you're cooking chilies. So there we go. Boom. Right, so let's do this. Side cam vibes. Rice first, isn't it? Surely you've got to be rice first. Three There's one, and we might as well make this a chunker, a big chunko. And one more for the road, very good. And now for some chili, right? How much do you want, man? I'm feeling hungry. Hungry, hungry, hungry. hungry. Right, I'm gonna pop that there. That is looking very delicious indeed. Now, I don't know about you guys, but I reckon this is all about a bit of guacamole now. Look at that, guac. So nice and green. Obviously it's got the coriander in there as well, which is, I don't know, some people don't like coriander. I think it's totally necessary for a good quality guac. Now we've got this. 
little bit of salsa, very, very good indeed. And then, once that's happened, a little fistful of these little wonderful little things, tortilla chips, some cheese, just to spread over the top. Obviously guys, it's vegan cheese. We've we'll gone for the smoky stuff because it works perfectly with the chili. And then last but not least, we're just gonna drizzle over some of this homemade vegan sour cream, which is very good. And that is almost there. We just squeeze a little bit of lime. And then we're looking at basically a very delicious bowl of food. Looks absolutely lovely. Doesn't that look good? Delish. Shall we uh, have a little nibble? Absolutely. A little okay. nibble. Guys, before we do the taste, do subscribe, like if you haven't already. Uh, let us know down in the comments what you thought of this, whether you've enjoyed these lives, whether you would like to see more of them. Because this is coming to the eighth week of us doing lives. Any of your thoughts? Yeah, and if you're if you just tuned in, okay, thanks for joining us. You may be a little bit late. And this is a brand new recipe from our brand new book, Speedy Bosch, which is available to pre-order right now. It comes out on the 18th of September, and it's going to cause a few waves. <laughs> so many good recipes in oh, that book, honestly. We would say that, but it's true. It's packed with hacky, quick, boshy recipes. That's going to be a goodie. Uh, I'll tell you what's going to be a really goodie. This. Okay, so spoon in. Yes, that looks very, very good. You've got a little bit of guac on there. You've got lots of that lovely sort of uh, chili broth, ch chili, a little bit of avocado in there as well. It's all good. Do you want a little taste? Nice, yeah, absolutely. absolutely. Nice, nice, nice. Let's have a go. Okay, and with a spoon like it, it's even. A bit, of a bit of green on there. Perfecto. Looks delish. Right, cheers. Cheers. Very good. Speed chili. Done. Mmm. Mmm. Mm. That's a tasty thing, man. Mmm. That is a tasty, tasty. Wow. Woo! It's got a bit of kick to it. So, you know, the crazy thing about that chili is it tastes like it has been simmering for a long, 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 long time. Mm. It doesn't taste like coffee. No. It just tastes like a really well done chili. Yeah, I think, yeah, I, I completely agree. Mm. And the, the coffee gives it that, like, the true darkness. I mean, just let's, let's take a look at that top cam again. Look at how dark. It looks like it's been sat in, like, um, like a slow cooker for, <laughs> for, for hours and hours. But no, it's been sat in your pan for 20 minutes. It's amazing. I mean, we've, we've watched it real time, so that was actually a speedy recipe. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Very good. MJ? Look, I don't know if you've noticed, but MJ's been sat in the back editing a video. Uh, <laughs> Welcome, on, try. I'll just get a spoon. One sec. In torture. Absolutely eh? incredible. So that is our speedy chili from the new book, Speedy Bosch. Comes out in September in both the UK and America. There should be a link down in the comments if you want to pre-order that. MJ. I've got a spoon. My fiance, we are social distancing. Mm -hmm. Would you like to try? Yes, please. I'm interested that Ian gave me a spoon rather than a fork. Mm. So you can shove it all in. I think spoon's the one. I think I always go for a spoon with the chili. I think it's just a nice okay. thing. Yeah, yeah. yeah so, what, what do I do? Have of this one. Just yeah. <laughs> they just take that. Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. Doesn't so a bit of the good. chili, bit of the guac, and a bit of the rice. Yeah, that's it. All the good stuff together. That's what I did as well. Get a little bit of everything mm -hmm. on each spoonful. Spicy. Spicy. It's good. Have you got it on your white t-shirt? Oh yeah. No, you get a memo. No, I didn't. No. I never do. Maybe we do get the memo. <laughs> yeah. Should be wearing white. It's delicious. Good. Really love it. Mmm. Also tastes very healthy. Mm. It is loads yeah. of beans. It's packed full of protein. Well, that's what you call it. Protein chili. There you go. It's yeah. delicious. Really like, and I do like the original. Well, there's two. There's two chilies already, isn't there? We've done a chili in like every book. Yeah, we've done yeah. a few. But this is the, definitely the quickest. Yeah, yeah. definitely the quickest, and it's one brilliant. of the best. I mean, that's amazing. Yeah. Mm. Good. Thank you. Thumbs I'll up. go back to my sofa. <laughs> Enjoy. Looking forward to eating that. Thank you. Nice one. Yeah. Thank you all for joining us. Uh, we hope you have enjoyed this. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, we've got a really tasty recipe coming up tomorrow, same time. Yeah, it's going to be a goodie. 6 p.m. BST. We'll see you on YouTube or on Facebook. Big love to you all. See you next time. Bye-bye.